Hey, what's good, Jaws SB Twist? Today I'm going to show y'all how to make a jailhouse tuna wrap. I know a lot of y'all probably heard about Chi Chi's, and it's also other things that people make when they incarcerate it. You know, it's nothing that I'm glorifying. It's just as a meal that I made on a regular. If I wasn't in the mood for a regular Chi Chi, it's like somewhat of an exotic jailhouse meal. But believe it or not, it's actually good. So today I'm just going to pretty much show y'all how to make it, how easy it is. It's basically regular ingredients that you probably already got laying in your house, laying around your house already. But anyway, I got this water boiling, so we about to jump straight into it. Alright y'all, so I'm back. And basically what we're going to use as far as the ingredients, we're going to use these, um, you know, cheese puffs. You know, um, when we when I was in jail, we basically had hers cheese curls, but I just you know grabbed these because this is what they had in the store. I actually went to the dollar store. I was in the dollar store, and I'm like, fuck it, let me get the ingredients. But anyway, it really don't matter what curls you use. Um, as y'all see, I'm using these, so y'all can use these hers or whatever. Pack of oodles and noodles. Um, I, also another thing went inside of there we use shrimp flavor but you can use any flavor noodles for real for real because the season packet you're not going to taste it how you would in a normal pack of oodles and noodles you want your can of tuna Oops. you want your can of tuna <laughs> definitely your can of tuna and um, you know I also at time to time will add baby clams to it you want your mayonnaise and your mustard. You know however you like your tuna. However you eat it in the house. And um, you also have the option of putting a hot pepper cheese bar. And also um, honey is also optional. But y'all going to see basically because I'm going to make this step for step. So basically how you want to start it off is. You want to make sure you got like an extra baggie or something to put your additional cheese curls in. Because you're not going to need this whole bag. You're going to need probably less than, you know, um, half of the bag. So what you want to do first is... A little bit than less. I mean, a little, a little bit less than half. As y'all can see, it's probably to the yeah, like to the amount of where the word cheddar is. This is actually how much I'm going to put back up for my kids, cause I don't even eat cheese puffs regular. I used to when I was younger, but so um, all right. So we got these. You got your curls. You always want to continue to use your bag. Keep your bag. Your bag is what you basically want to cook it in. You know. So next we're going to um, get these noodles right. And we're going to crumble these noodles up. You know in gel we used to slam them on the floor. You know it's like concrete floors. You slam them up. Break them up like that, right? Then, you're going to take out the seasoning pack, of course. And then you're going to dump the noodles inside of the chips, the cheese curls. After you do that, you're going to crush these curls up. With the noodles, don't go, don't don't get too crazy with it. You want to crumble them up, but you don't want to be too wild to bust the bag. Now, obviously, in jail, we ain't had no measuring cups, so I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to measure the water from off the eye. Right now, I got 
the water boiling and it's popping. In jail, on State Road, we used to use some shit called the Stinger, and that make the water way hotter than the, the regular hot water that, you know, they, they try to give us some shit. You know, just to make sure it's right. Damn. So bam, you crumble this up like this, y'all. Uh, that's crumbled up in there like that, right? So you're gonna take the seasoning pack now and you're gonna put half, only half. You can even put a little bit less than half of the seasoning in there. I, I normally use shrimp for this, but it really don't matter. I used chicken before inside, on the inside. Man, so you want to basically let some air get in there. You want to roll it up, let some air get in there, jump that thing around like this. Bam. All right, so we got that like this. Now, this water is rocking right now. Now, with this. As y'all can see, y'all see where like the noodles and the cheese curls and stuff is at. You want to slowly pour the water in there and of course obviously be careful with holding the bag because the water is definitely hot. You want to slowly pour the water but just get it to the very very top of the noodles. You don't want to drain it. Put some in there, you want to start massaging it. You want to put just enough in there to, to moisten it to the top of the noodles. This shit is hot, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold it so y'all can see what it's supposed to look like. Hot water is slowly going in. Slowly, slowly put it in there. It shouldn't be no water just floating around in there. It should automatically dissolve. So when you, you want to massage it a little bit more, slowly add water. Make sure you feel like a slush of water going through the whole thing. I'm gonna do one little more, one pinch like that. It's burning in my hand, y'all. I'm just trying to get a good angle for y'all. All right, that's how I want it. That's how I want to look to the point where you should be squeezing it, and this should smooth through the bag like this. You shouldn't hear no crunch. No crunch. You don't want no crunch. So now, what you want to do is you want to roll it up like this. You want to tuck all of the. Uh, the noodle and cheese curl to the bottom of the bag. You chop it all down like this. After you chop it, you roll it like this. After you roll it like this, pull the noodles out the way. If you roll it like this, you want to get a shirt, a towel, a blanket, or something. I'm going to use this beach towel. Put that thing in there, roll it up. You want to keep that heat rolling on it, y'all. We roll it up like this. We roll this up. I'm going to put that over there. Now, we're going, we're going um, of course, you're going to make it your tuna ingredients, how you make it. It's just a basic joint right here. Like I said, I normally add baby clams and stuff like that. But this just the plain jam right here. 
you could be creative as you want with it. You can add crab meat to it. When you when when this is done, it, it, it's nothing like trying to make a cheat cheat like. If you at home and you just made some cheese curls and some oodles and noodles, this ain't gonna be nothing like how this tastes right here. And trust me, I didn't try every ingredient I could to make a chi chi on the streets. But there's something about the shit on commissary that they give you that you can't find the, the, the Keefe products and shit. You can't find the Keefe products nowhere on the market. It's a it's an institutional food. It's an institution food. Let me get another spoon because I let that fall in the tuna already. But we going you know put your mayo in in there how you like it. I like a lot of mayo in my tuna. We gonna do that like that. Bam. Then we going you know add some mustard. It's only right. If you don't like adding mustard to it, you don't got to add mustard to it, but that's how I'm going to do it. Alright, so of course you want to mix all of this stuff up right here. You're going to want to mix all this stuff up right here. Y'all know how to do it with the tuna whip. Now it's up to you. Drop some on the floor. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can put it in the fridge. I suggest put it in the fridge just for a couple minutes. It ain't it ain't no big deal. If you really wanted to, you know, let you if you the type of person that's it's a big deal with making letting your tuna settle, then I suggest, of course, obviously, you make the tuna way before you even start making this. Period. You know what I'm saying? Had the tuna ready, had that thing sitting in the fridge. I'm going to sit mine actually in the freezer real quick because what you want to do is you want to let that sit for about 10 minutes and um, not even, it don't have to be 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes. It depends on how hot your water is, you know what I'm saying? But definitely you don't want to take it out under 5 minutes. Let that thing sit, roll up, wrap, and you want to keep it in the towel like I said to keep that heat flowing, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't got to be super super hot when we when we do the last steps but it do got to be super hot at the beginning in order to get the best benefits of the jailhouse tuna wrap so i'm about to uh chill for a little second i'm about to throw this tuna in the freezer and i'll be right back probably about like eight minutes i'm gonna holla at y'all all right y'all i'm back at it so I'm about to unwrap this thing. Actually, hold on. Let me grab the tuna real quick from out the freezer. Bam. All right, so now it's time to unleash the monster, y'all. As y'all can see. Now let's see how it looks. See if I can zoom in. Alright, so here we go. So next, I showed y'all that it's, it's y'all really can't see what it's hitting for yet. I don't even know what I'm you know what I'm saying, trying to show y'all too much through the bag for it. But anyway, here come the magic part right here. Y'all see how that thing dropped down like that? Everything down the bottom, right? So next what we gonna do is, you gonna do this and you gonna flatten it out. When you flatten this out, 
you want to make sure that this is spread it out through the whole bag. You don't want empty spaces or something. You can fill through the bag. You basically want it smother. You want it to be like a piece of paper. It ain't got to reach the very top of the bag, but long as it's an even square, as y'all can see, where this knife is, it's going to be a straight line right here. Everything under this is flat, flat and even. All right, y'all, y'all ready for the fun part? Now y'all saw how it was earlier. Now this is all noodle. What y'all wanna do is actually, when y'all flatten it out, make sure that y'all want it face down to make it easier so y'all don't even gotta flip it how I just had to. So now what you wanna do is, you wanna get the, the chip bag. Let me make sure y'all can see. Slide it over some this way. You wanna get the chip bag and you wanna Split it down the middle. It's like a little line right here. And you want to basically go with the grain at a line. If the bag split up a little bit or it, go, it, it don't go even, don't even worry about it. But you want to do that, then you want to come to the bottom and you want to tear it like that. Then you want to come to this other end. Whoops. I'm messing the baggie up, y'all. So you can always mold it a little bit more like that. But now, as y'all see, let me see, let me get this camera up on this so y'all can see. What this about to look like. I mean what this thing look like. Now look, this is just from some oodles and noodles and a pack of cheese curls right here, y'all. Try to get a good focus on that. Alright, so now it's looking like this. Alright, so now what you want to do is There we go. Alright, excuse me y'all for the um fucking the bag up like this. But anyway, now what you want to do is you want to put the tuna down the middle of it. We normally will have like hot pepper cheese bars in the middle, you know, even sometimes peppers and stuff. You know what I mean? Bring get some peppers or something from out the kitchen. Might have a kitchen worker connect or something like that. You know what I'm saying? We would do that. And it's also a, a, a cheese that we used to use in there called cheese squeeze. Well, basically that is being used in there. <laughs> cause just cause I ain't in the motherfucker don't mean that flow stop. But that's what's going on in there. So, you know, the ingredients, everything will obviously be mixed in with the tuna, your hot pepper cheese bar, whatever you want to add to it. Like I said, this is just a plain Jane and showing y'all how to do it. But what I am going to do is, I'm definitely going to add some honey to it, but not yet, you know what I'm saying? It goes on top. But basically, this is the finishing touch right here, you know, and this is right here is the one too. Everybody in jail don't know how to make these. Most of the blocks I've been on, it might have been like one other motherfucker that knew how to make it besides me. I was teaching motherfuckers how to make these joints and making them and shit. You know, we make them like Friday night or something like that. You know, you try to, you know, have something to look forward to. And, and you know, commissary is one of the things that you look forward to in jail besides court dates and visits. But anyway, this is the one two right here. First, you can hit it with a right or a left. So what you want to do is, you can grab either side and you start like this. You get it like this and you flap it. 
And when you flap it, smooth it out, bring that back like this. Wham, y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see how beautiful that thing look now? Now look, then you're gonna hit it with the other side and bring that over like this. Right on top of that. Woo! right here you can see the tuna goozing out at the side and right here is where we would put the cheese squeeze on top you know and also glaze some honey the honey of course is optional you know you zigzag that across and then you know, last but not least, you got to throw down with this joint right here, y'all. This joint right here, feed two people, but when you in jail, you know, you be on your ball shit. So this joint go to the face in jail, like, it ain't no sharing this. Unless your sully ain't got no food, he might get a little piece. I really ain't give, I only give a nigga some of this if, you know, I was full, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't want no more because you can't obviously save this shit. But you got this right here. This is basically all cheese, crow, and cheddar at the tip. And it's doing popping. But let me show y'all get to the tuna. It pop. This joint popping. Even on the streets, y'all, this joint still lit. Don't underestimate the honey glazed across the top of this motherfucker either. This is real shit. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm going to get this camera off the tripod real quick. Here we go, y'all. You know what I mean? There you go. A jailhouse tuna rack. But it's your boy SV Twist. And I'm out this joint. I'm about to call my son up. He upstairs let him know I made one. He don't know this is shit we made in jail, but he like it. He be like, Dad, can you make that that tuna rack thing with the with the noodles? You know what I'm saying? It definitely got flavor to it. It's a good mixture, and definitely give it a try with the honey glazed across the top. But I'm out this joint, this SV Twist. I'm going to holler at y'all.